welcome back to the lovely HP community and the 5D Collective. We have a solar eclipse partial and a new moon today and we begin with you. You choose your destiny when you choose to be yourself mindfully and spiritually, not a facade. So please keep in mind mindful and or spiritual living is for that 5D mystic spiritual self-help person and or for that 5D mindful self-help person. You know self-attunement and you know self-awareness and regulation skills. So you have your whole self. It's why it's easy to own your destiny and to do dharma. So you do emotions and thoughts, okay? So that's who the channeled guidance message is. Food for thought and anything of self-empowered land will be jiving and thriving with. Okay, so with that, to choose yourself is to choose love, enlightenment, and humanity that's the 5d mystic spiritual self-help mindful way because our lovely facades on the other hand well the facades they have grief perfectionism this uh, superhero supervillain distorted victim and blamer or martyr superior depends the saving stuff with the distorted vain ego with insecurity okay and this dissipating so those who do not heal what is the adoptive child part we'll just start with that the 16 year old adoptive child part is in the lead and they can have maladaptive patterns of behavior those would be the addictions to the inner critic outer critic so ruminating with drugs alcohol sex all of those maladaptive and again adoptive child it's unbridled self-expression they come in with a safety behavior so it's the attach cry collapse submit please appease fight flight freeze flop drop okay so facades are people who do have an opportunity if they want to move into the 5d frequency to move into being able to do mindfulness living and loving as well as spirituality living and loving or spiritually that's where it all depends so i'm a 5d mystic and i am from this lovely journey of faith so mind begins with Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit and expanded to mysticism. And really, sciences explains it too. So sciences, spirituality, talk about our lovely, embodied, infinite, higher human conscious potential experience, which is going to happen in your mindfully restorative, aware, self-accountable, regulating. And uh, again, with the accountability and awareness, it's because of this so prefrontal there's a zen master with laundry he's not doing mindfulness daily apparently when he's in his secondary consciousness every human we have primary and secondary so being aware of being aware that i'm alive breathing but that i'll die that unknown unexpected unwanted meaning there being no meaning to life potentially since everything that is unavailable that we cannot see so god you cannot see faith you cannot see you can only continue to tap into the connection with the pure consciousness or intelligence it all depends how you want to call it that's why again science and spirituality come together because they're both in the unavailable sphere now they both believe in the miracle of life but one looks at it with secular scientific data points and all that and the spiritual well we have a lot of different ancestry stories and now we have the 5d collective with new stories like right here to heal trauma and humanity bringing forth the actual capacity for you to embody your whole humanity which is only going to happen when you choose yourself because you choose to go within and bring your restorative embodiment self-aware person here so facades they don't do that the facades their opportunity to be able to choose conscious living as well as that's the mindful spiritual living which means to be yourself their opportunity to be their self arises when they notice their human suffering love narrative not going anywhere and so they're not building love but instead they have distorted ego shame self with the traumatized mind heart body that lives dysregulated and modulated embodiment so they're going to notice the codependent type low self-esteem and direct communication passive aggressive not healthy boundaries people around them and just their life and they're going to say you know what i don't need to do this because i'm a person and i want to enjoy my human being life okay so they don't want laundry they don't want, you know, half-assed uh, 
let me get go get a uh, what is it called shortcut solution they're gonna be like you know i'm gonna go check out the good therapist because it's the year 2024 so with that they're gonna find the good therapist i learned from them and they're gonna say i choose to go and get good trauma therapy with my childhood trauma therapist i love patrick tiahan is one of the ones that i mention all the time and on that journey i heal trauma i reclaim my true self i return home to my human being birthright restored embodiment and then if i ever want to be in a place of continuing to be self-aware accountable and regulating in an expanded forgiving compassionate way maybe i'll join the ihp 5d community because this is where we do forgiveness and compassion so some people might not want to do any of that but once you have earned secure attachment and or you are always securely attached so you don't lose yourself that's when you're going to bring forth the true you you're going to love that infinite higher human conscious potential journey because you're going to live it inner and outer well-being you're going to enjoy the 5d frequency and ascension energies whenever they're coming around you are your human love narrative and you expand to more blissfulness more breathtaking ways all and beyond and this is because you choose your destiny but you choose yourself so you don't choose the facade but instead you choose again for those who need therapy for that then they get to come over here and with that we choose our enlightenment because we have healthy self-worth we have the inner growth mindset that allows us to use our left and right with neutrality and duality so you have impartiality and you're above the threshold of the neutrality so you're vibing at enlightenment and above when you're brought unknowns uncertainties unexpected unwanted from life and people that's your choice point and instinctively you know that as a divine feminine i always was like huh inside here pause think feel expand okay so instinctively you pause that's why we have mindfulness and that's for me at least as a divine feminine it was like this little pull <laughs> pause sh be quiet wait a minute recalibrate okay so instinctively a mindfully living and loving person with self-awareness accountability and regulating that's what we again are here the 5d collective we are doing i'm myself my unique self i speak my truth with equanimity like apacha does with cusco i own my destiny okay and so with that destiny you own your fate and that's where you're doing dharma not karma so for the mystics with fate and faith if you will faith is different but with you get what i'm saying i get to continue to co-create with i call it the essence of love in life because i have a relationship with the word god but i can call it source universe but really they mean the same thing to me and i get to freely share with you all who i am and what a divine feminine loves to do we love to nurture and that's the divine feminine the divine masculine will be able to nurture in a different way but we both have authentic self in the forefront because we have forgiveness in the forefront and so we love to be generous of spirit but we don't say it's generosity we say we are standing at the embodiment of the true potential of humanity and so we both divine masculines and divine feminines we're going to have some messages for them i still have that stuff that i told you about channeled guidances okay so we don't watch and wait to reclaim our power we are experiencing it in our day-to-day -day interactions as we turn knowledge into wisdom and wisdom into knowledge from our body our divine feminine with an open heart from our mind independent differentiated self-mind with our lovely christ consciousness that's the forgiveness and the love and you've chosen love not fear and you've chosen to expand into your humanity and to embody that with the perseverance of something called simply put expanding what is joy from within you and then when impatience you don't have laundry <laughs> you have some of us pray some of us have passion right and we can bring it all in and some of us have that abundance that you allow yourself to make an abundancy of all those emotions joy and patience they're all emotions not laundry so you have aligned yourself completely and you're expanding who you are which is why you have completed the karma wheel complete all done your child parts they're sleeping you're the grown-up prefrontal cortex works <laughs> 
forgiveness and you don't have the I wear the uh, so people who think that they are special in some way they the, the weight of the world is on their shoulders the miracle is that we are working all together to co-create that self-discovery for every person who wants to become their whole self and to choose their self so we get to be here together and we tend to hang out with physically mentally emotionally and uh more intelligent as well as deep individuals souls that love to use grace and generosity their ventral vagal social engagement so they love to have fun and we make fun of the ones who think that power is something that does not hold integrity or differences uh you know so anybody who knows the right use of power will know how to be a pacha in the world so we come together there's more of us and that's why meditation like our lovely said guru shares it's uh not something that you let me go find the quote because he shared this the other day um i shared it on instagram if you don't follow ihp on instagram you can just look up inspiring human potential meditation is a quality not an act so being in your restorative embodiment self is a quality and you get to be there with mindfulness day-to-day -day practice mind sight and mindset the inner growth here at hp so no human is born perfect no moment of time is perfect our world and humans aren't perfect and they are not demons okay so we know that we can all be our own inner and outer master by bringing forth the truth the truth is that we can choose love and dance the dance of life with all people because we have differences we're not afraid of each other the people who are afraid they do the facade stuff with the people who divide with words and groups and all that we say we're all children we were all born and no child chose to be unkind and no child is unkind yes we all can be unkind the point is though the regulating nervous system okay so when i say unkind i'm saying about the nervous system in case you're confused being playful involves a nervous system that knows how to self-regulate no infant knew that we're mammals we learn to self-regulate based on our herd the immediacy of it which is why attachment and trauma information is fundamental but again there are those who choose to maintain their modulated and dysregulated embodiment and they perpetuate the ancient times and unhealed trauma so please do remember i accept the defeat that we will have those who will be the type of gossipers with the devils and demons and all of those pseudo live groups that don't go and get healed so they have the sense of guilt they have rejection wounds and uh injustice wounds and all of that and they're confused when they are channelers they think that they're channeling something they don't recover their self or balance and be grateful with all they have a very skewed perspective the distorted ego and self does and that is the whole groups that decide that they are better than it's perfectionism of the adaptive child so it's not something that you will be able to talk to them about because actively when a person's in what stephen porges calls their yellow or red so when they're modulated dysregulated we have a not securely attached nervous system they might even be a disorganized and so in that moment you can talk to them all you want they're not hearing you with the ears of a person who's open it's the i know i'm right you're wrong and what you're doing is something i don't like and so their defenses are up okay so we leave it alone to hang out with the ones who are open to that lovely 5d way that 5d lifestyle and again it's a word that i'm using but basically it means those who are open to us being people being different and being able to welcome our differences all of which involve what we're dealing with right now and we get to have conversations and have a good time when we meet facades we get to be the pacha that knows how to use what jesus taught me and what god taught me you're all my brothers and sisters so i will be in my ventral vagal state and i will be maria authentically the divine feminine free to be me i will speak with the voice that best comes forth and that will be lovingly acceptingly respectfully but i will have integrity so you still might not like what you hear because i will stand up for myself in a ventral vagal state and respect my self first of all while respecting the soul that you are and whatever it is that you will have chosen if you will have chosen this then we're gonna have a good time 
If you will have chosen this, it depends what you decide to do when you meet a person who has healthy self-worth and who knows how to continue standing in who she is or who he is or who they are with equanimity, which means that you're going to have to decide what you want to do because this is what makes 5D Christ consciousness and a person of the Holy Spirit and faith unbreakable is open heart, humbleness. I'm not playing God, I'm playing Maria. No, I'm not playing, Mar I am Maria. You see, the humanity is what the 4D keeps on putting to the side and anybody who's a spiritual bypasser and anybody who's a facade completely of mental health, of any subject matter, you, you name it, I'll notice if they're a facade or if what they do is the embodiment of the true self of them. Why? Because of the frequency that they will be vibing in and because of how they will handle the conversation. If they're going to have fun, then I know I got an intelligence in front of me. I got this. If they're going to get defensive, I got this. And that's not better or worse. It's an active choice that anyone, again, can make. So tune in for more. We're going to have some channeled guidance. And if you do enjoy 5D Mystic Spiritual Self-Help, Mindful, Living, Loving, and Therefore practices that will come with our membership content, I also offer one-to-one -one mentorship. And there's a master class in the working as well as spiritual retreat in the future. If you know people who do enjoy this type of stuff and just voices, perspectives, and funny stories and funny ladies, <laughs> send them all over. And I'm sure in time we'll also have some beautiful stories to share live. And we already have some on the blog. Well, we used to have some, but I think we still have them on the channel. So anyways, thank you for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe. See you again soon.